Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Alexandra, I'm a mum of nine. This week's groceries is a little bit different because my oven has finally completely broken. It's been on its way out for a long time now, but finally it's completely given, given up. So we are currently in the process of waiting for a new oven to arrive. <laughs> so in the meantime, I'm having to cook things a bit differently. So I'm mainly using my instant pot. So um, pretty much everything is going to be slow cooked or pressure cooked. So all the meals I'm doing this week are going to be like that. Also, I usually make my own bread and my own baked goods and stuff like that, but I'm not able to, so I've had to buy some bread, sadly. So I, I'm very much missing my baking at the moment, but we should have a new oven shortly. Hopefully. <laughs> Not too long. Let me show you what I have got this week. So over here I've got a big box of six litre bottles of coconut water. My husband likes to take one of these to work each day. I've got some nappies for William. This summer he will be potty trained so I'm looking forward to not having to have nappies anymore. Um, we've got some toilet roll and then we've got ten of the big bottles of organic whole milk and then I got um, this laundry detergent which I haven't tried before. Um, I have been using soap nuts now if you don't know what they are they are like these nuts that you put in a, a bag so they're sort of zipped up or whatever and then you put them in your washing and it's supposed to cause like a, some soaping stuff and clean your clothes and it's all natural and eco-friendly and all the rest of it but I'm just not really getting on with them. Um, first of all the bags they provided keep coming undone and all the soap nuts are going everywhere in my washing machine and blocking the filter so I got new bags but still I'm just not happy. I don't think the washing's coming out very clean. Um, and it wouldn't be so bad if it was summer and I was able to hang my washing out to dry afterwards and then the sunshine obviously is really good at killing any germs or smells or anything but it's not summer and I'm, I'm having to use the tumble dryer so um, and I'm not I'm just not happy with how the laundry is smelling after using the soap nuts and it doesn't seem to matter how many I use or whatever I, it just is not working for me doesn't matter the temperature I use, how many, nothing, it's just not working so I'm not happy with those. Um, I know some people love them, like when my daughter loves them, but uh, not for me. So I'm back to the horrible chemically uh, stuff at the moment but I need to find something that's not too bad for you because I know that that detergent that I bought there is full of carcinogens which isn't brilliant but um, nor is stinky washing so I need to find something better so if you've got any recommendations please let me know thank you and then I've got some raisins I did plan on making a um, bread and butter pudding but I can't until I've got an oven so luckily they keep I have got some more dishwasher tablets again I worry about all the chemicals in these things if you know anything that's not you know as harsh but still does a good job in the dishwasher let me know because I'm always interested in things like that. I've got two blocks of butter because we've still got quite a lot in the fridge. One thing of um, cheddar, I should have got more, that will not be enough so I'll probably have to go to a shop at some point during the week and get some more. I've got some leeks, um, they are to go in my pork and mushroom casserole stew thing that I'm making in the slow cooker so I've got mushrooms to go with that and some pork belly slices so that's one of the meals that we'll be having this week I've got some organic potatoes two packs of those I've got some celery and carrots because we always need those for our bases I've got three packs of was it no four packs of bacon because the children like it frozen peppers I was going to use that in one of the meals that I'm making this week which will be like a kind of chili type dish we've got uh, three packs of organic mints and I'll use two per 
uh, meal but I've got another one in the freezer so one will be used with the um, peppers and I'll put some black beans in and have it nice and kind of Mexican style I've got some sweet corn maybe I'll put some of that in as well and then the other meal that I'll be making with mince is probably a spaghetti bolognese then we've got some sausages and I will be making a sausage stew surprise surprise because what else can I cook without an oven if you do have suggestions for slow cooker meals please let me know <laughs> I've got my favorite fluoride free toothpaste I've got four jars of this organic tomato puree um, we always use this it was on offer I think it was 20% off and I'm going to keep the jars and use them for my own canning I have started canning I did mention in a previous video that I was going to start canning and I have started canning I've made loads of marmalade and loads of apple sauce but it didn't go completely as I planned I was hoping to either um, pressure can them in my instant pot or water bath them but neither of those things worked for me and that's because I don't have the right equipment but that's a whole another story um, but I, I should be making a video about that shortly yeah I need to get some more equipment so I can do these things properly but then here I've got three packs of cod fillets these were on a flash sale so I got those and I've got some smoked haddock in the freezer as well so I'm going to be making a um, fish chowder put some corn in got some cream to go in um, maybe some mushrooms so that should be another nice meal so we've got the fish chowder the Mexican black bean mince thing the spaghetti bolognese the pork and leek casserole with mushrooms that's four of the meals so far and then I've got um, these chicken drumsticks, they're organic. I think these were on offer. I think they were 20% off as well. I've got three packs of those, so I'll be making a chicken curry with those. Definitely have some cream in that, some mushrooms, lots of spices. So that's my fifth meal. And then I've also got chicken supremes and I will be making something else with that. Uh, I'm guessing some sort of a like <laughs> stew again so that is six meals I think and then I've got other stuff in the freezer so I'll figure something else out for the seventh meal but they're all my slow cooker pressure cooker meals for the week um, and I've also got this clotted cream because I want to cook up my Christmas pudding. Some of you might remember from previous videos that I was really ill over Christmas, we all were. So Christmas, I couldn't taste anything, um, I, I didn't enjoy any of the food, so we didn't even cook the Christmas pudding, so it's still sitting in the larder waiting. So I'm going to cook that up this week and have it with some clotted cream. I can't wait. We have some tomatoes and we've got loads of noodles, instant noodles that the teenagers like. As always, six onions, lots of packs of apples, um, loads of eggs, four dozen eggs, and then eight slices of bread, which I would rather not buy, but what can you do when you haven't got an oven? And um, yeah, that is not all. I've also been doing my best to try and stock up on bulk items. I don't have much storage space, but I'm just going to have to figure out something because it's just so much cheaper to buy in bulk. So I will show you my bulk items. So over here I've got a 25 kilogram bag of uh, einkorn wheat berries and these are from Forest Whole Foods. So I'm going to grind those that into flour when I have an oven and I can do some baking. But in the meantime, I'm going to put this in the freezer because if you put it in the freezer, it kills off any chance of there being, um, I can't remember the name of those things, those little bugs that go in the flour. So I'm gonna put that in the freezer for a while and then store it properly. Um, and then here I have got 12 kilograms of jumbo oats. These are 100% organic as well and i don't know if that will even last that long in this family because my children like to make smoothies with oats in they like to have 
porridge in the mornings and so on but it's definitely it works out a lot cheaper buying it in bulk and I'll tell you the price difference in a minute so for that bag there that cost me let me just have a look 23 pounds 64 and then over here I have got a 25 kilogram bag of black beans or black turtle beans um, and these both these ones are from buy, buy whole foods online.co.uk and we like black beans a lot we eat them a lot it bulks out our meat in a lot of our meals because it's cheaper to put some beans in than to use more meat um, so that costs 61 pounds 52 and again these are organic so I will now tell you how much cheaper this works out um, than buying it from a normal supermarket please excuse the terrible lighting we have such bad lighting in this kitchen <coughs> I've done all my calculations now so I can tell you how much I've saved so I bought black beans 25 kilograms for 61 pounds 52 that's two pounds 46 per kilogram now Ocado don't sell organic dried black beans they only sell the tinned organic bean black beans and they are three pounds 44 per kilogram so if I were to buy 25 kilograms from a cardo that would cost me 86 pounds that means I have saved myself 24 pounds 48 by buying the black beans in bulk next I got the oats 12 kilograms for 23 pounds 64 which is 1 pound 97 per kilogram a cardo sell organic oats for two pounds 75 per kilogram so for 12 kilograms that would be 33 pounds um, so that saved me nine pounds 36 by buying the oats in bulk and then William can you shut the door please so lastly I bought 25 kilograms of ice corn wheat berries for 94 pounds 95 which is three pounds 79 per kilogram and I couldn't find any on Ocado they don't sell iron corn flour anymore or iron corn they definitely don't sell iron corn wheat berries or wheat grain so um, I looked on Amazon and for a normal sized bag that you would buy in a weekly grocery shop of iron corn flour which is already milled and has additives, in, additives that I don't want that's why I want to mill my own flour anyway that was seven pounds 18 per kilogram so if I bought 25 kilograms of iron corn flour from Amazon in the small bags that you would buy regularly every week it would cost me £179.50 so that saved me a massive £84.55 by buying my own iron corn grain and then just milling it myself so in total with just these three purchases I have saved myself 118 pounds and 39 pence and that is why I want to do a lot more bulk shopping rather than buying small quantities every week because I'm just being ripped off <laughs> and I I can save myself so much money in the long run by doing that but of course I do have to work out some sort of a storage system and make some space somewhere so I will be doing that over the next few days. Let me know in the comments below if you bulk buy anything and what you think are the best things to bulk buy. What about things like laundry detergent? Do you bulk buy that? Is that a possibility? I don't know, different things. Let me know. I'm so curious about how I can save more money on my groceries. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this week's grocery haul. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And I shall see you again very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.